Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we just saved Nick. And now, let's figure out what the hell he is. What? Just what are you, Nick? Just what are you, Nick? You really don't know? I'm a Look at his hand. I didn't even notice that. Synthetic man. All the parts, minus a few red blood cells. I got built. Just I got a few. Old. I got tossed. Then I opened up that little agency in Diamond City, and turns out people have plenty of problems to solve. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. You said Diamond you City, said right? Diamond City, right? Yeah, you know the way? Southwest a few blocks. My office is in the back alley. The neon heart sign. I don't have time to sit and chit-chat. I don't have time to sit and chit-chat. Look, I know you want your case solved as quickly as possible, but an investigation needs time. We can't risk overlooking the details. Meet me at Diamond City. Trust me, things will be easier once I know everything that happened. Alright. Let's head on back then. We leveled up. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm, I'm recording a lot of these back to back right now just because it's um, just a lot easier. Um, we need these advanced lock pick, I think, is the next thing to do. Ooh, that's, 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 uh, that's pretty good. Let's do this, though. Ooh, look at our, our out of ammo amount 69. <laughs> Traveling in the common <laughs> Fuck you. These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide and things get bad. That goes both ways. Always keep your eyes open. I knew that was gonna happen. And you're down, because you don't know how to fucking fight. Valentine go. Alright, yeah, you got the right idea. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I kind of noticed the that. Bragging, it really is the most secure settlement around, even if it comes with a few uptight guards. Uh, I would get that. This place seems well. It's not exactly in the most pristine moment of following the law. Understandable. Hi. Nothing to see here. All right, bud. Oh, 
I'm loving our new armor on our left leg. It looks so cool. Very rustic. Here's my old power armor. <laughs> that would have been useful down there, that's for sure. Yeah, you get another fusion core. All right, we made it back. I'll meet you over there, Valentine. I'm going to grab some uh, health products in need. Uh, I guess everything's kind of close, so I can't right now. Would have been nice for you to tell me that. Jesus. Take this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends. Oh, she threatened. She threatened. She likes the robot. <laughs> and my job. Thank you. Metal detective delivery at your service. <laughs> Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. No matter how painful it might be. Some kind we of Kylo Fillet facility. What it happened? Cryo. 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 It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. And they didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... Just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So 
Super mutants, what are they? Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Who are the gunners? Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. I don't think Vedas would have done this. So you think so it's you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Jesus. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Alright, um... You don't know anything about them, really? You don't know anything about them. Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Hmm. You said you're a prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Uh, either way, I need to find either Sean. Way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, I think it was uh, some kind of hazard suit. The man, he had some sort of metal f brace on his arm. I don't know why that wasn't voiced. It's Maybe stuck. some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right One up of them to me. came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. no. They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah. Either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both hmm. of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Alright, let's do it. Come on, let me get through the door. There we go. Just a mercenary, a professional, quick, 
gave me that shit, so now I'm overweight. an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. It's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? No way I can pick this. That's way too hard, bro. Hey, Valentine. Hmm, you can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Alright. Come on. Lucky, let's go. Let's hope there's someone awake to even help us. It's late. Yeah, shoot people. You know what? Let's sell stuff to this robot because I know he's got stuff. He might even have stem packs. Good for you, bud. I've got a few minutes to brow. Alright. Let's see. Weapons. What can we sell? Sell that. Sell one of these. Sell that. Sell two of those. We don't need this trench coat at all. Don't need the greaser jacket though. I thought it would be cool. Road leathers are kind of useless. You don't need that really either. How much aid do you have? Guest impacts? Oh, thank God. Jesus, that cost a lot. Forty-five for two stem packs. That's it. Fuck. All right, all I'll have to do. Got any bandages? Just got one dirty bandage. 69? Right, I'll pay 69 for that. Can't ru rule out that perfect number. <laughs> Alright. How's our weight system now? Alright, we're way better now. Let's go check the mayor. Nothing to see here. Never been up in the stands? Let's just say thank you. Come on, dog. Good boy. It's all ogre, but the cry. Maybe 
the shout a little less. What are you doing here, Piper? What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? Never mind, Never sorry mind. for bothering you. Sorry for bothering you. Have a nice day. I'm not gonna let her know what's going on. Hey, Mayor, I need to talk to you. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reason you have. I take my citizens' privacy very seriously, even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man, Kellogg, kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I, I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. Thank I you. remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like it myself. Paranoid. Never talk to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid that. All right. Thanks for the key, bud. All right. Let's get back out of here. Come on, Lucky. Move, Lucky. Jesus. Come on. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Hmm. The place seems small to you. I figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Once he got up here, handcuffs or something here. Check out that desk. Check out the desk. Thought I did. What's this? Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, ah, stim packs, thank God. All of a Merc's. Gwyneth's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Uh, 
I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. You can think well, you can do it, boy? Dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whip? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. Uh huh. Hmm. I could really use the extra hand. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? All right, let me loot all his shit first. Thank you. Jesus, move. <laughs> God. Ooh, orange mintats. My favorite. Alright. Um, I think that's everything. Dog, dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Where'd you go? Oh. Alright, we're on the hunt. Come on, Nick Valentine. We're gonna find this bastard. Alright, let me go through. Come on. All right, we're on the trail. We're on the search for my child. I think we're gonna continue the next episode on the search for, you guessed it, Kellogg. <laughs> Kellogg Flakes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, much love guys, take care. Uh, like, subscribe, and feel free to share to your friends, family, whatnot. And as always, much love. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.